Hey everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 4, Episode 12, The Wounded. Uh, we have engaged the Cardassians. So The Next Generation redefined Star Trek. It brought Star Trek fans to a new generation. So we first, they have completely revamped the Romulans. Romulans were only in two episodes of the original series. They're in so much more of The Next Generation. Uh, they completely redid, or they, they introduced the Ferengi, which were supposed to be a villain, but they kind of end up being a joke. But still, they introduced them. And most importantly, they introduced the Borg, who are the baddest bitches in the galaxy. Like, they're amazing. All of that combined, or put aside, the next generation introduced the Cardassians. So the Cardassians mostly come back into Deep Space Nine with the Bajoran encounters, war, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we do see them in several episodes of The Next Generation. In fact, some very, very good episodes. Some of my favorite episodes have the Cardassians. So I think it's interesting that The Next Generation introduces them. Kind of sets the platform for it. Um, so first off, uh, this kind of a subplot, or the, the main episode is about a Starfleet captain is gone basically rogue and is taking out Cardassian ships. Now, this captain is the former captain of O'Brien. So it's interesting because in the last episode, we saw O'Brien get married to Keiko. So Keiko makes her return, like, instantly, the next episode. And already we're seeing her and O'Brien's kind of relationship and what it's like to be married. So O'Brien is talking about this captain, and a Cardassian, some Cardassians are bored the Enterprise because years ago we were at war with the Cardassians I don't think they give a specific date but Card mentions he was on the Stargazer so it was at least four years ago and at, we've signed a treaty things are okay we're kind of at a stalemate right now we're, make, we're on our way to making peace and now this captain is basically ruining everything and taking out these Cardassian shuttles, saying that they're, they have weapons on them, but they're just basic freighters. So Picard is in that difficult situation where he doesn't know quite how to handle it. Now, first off, just a little blurb, the Cardassians have this weird headgear that I'm pretty sure we never see again, but it kind of made me laugh because I was like, what the fuck is that? So anyways, this whole episode kind of boils down to racism, and it's a really good allegory for it, where O'Brien is talking, every time O'Brien talks about a Kling, or a, about a Cardassian, it's always those those people, those creatures, those things. Like, though they don't know what they're doing, and who could hate them, and who could get along with them. And it's kind of, he doesn't realize it. It reminds me a lot, it's interesting because this episode came out before the sixth movie, The Undiscovered Country. But it was being it, it was made right around the same time, and that uh, that movie, The Undiscovered Country, had a lot to do with racism as well. Where if you remember, Ahura and Chekhov were like, "Did you see how they ate?" And that Klingon bitch, and they, they, it's they're very allegorical movie and episode. So I can really appreciate how they were putting that forward. And finally, O'Brien has that moment where he realized where he's talking to a Cardassian in Ten Forward, and he's like. I saw what your people did, and I had to kill one of them to stop it. And I don't hate you, I hate what your kind turned me into. And it's a very real moment where O'Brien is finally embracing how he feels, and he's no longer in denial about it. It's a terrific episode. It's really interesting, and as far as like introduction episodes go, it's very, very well done. Um, if you guys have seen this one, uh, what did you guys think about the Cardassians? What do you guys think about seeing them in the future? Like I said, in future episodes as well as in Deep Space Nine. And even into Voyager, there's Cardassians. Uh, so go ahead, let me know what you guys think about the Cardassians. And now that we're at them, uh, thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for the subscriptions. And I will see you guys next time for The Devil's Due.